With the door opened by the self-proclaimed spirit spell, you leave the heart's domain behind. Upon your return to your original world, Lanka and Krim look weary from their unbelievable experience. Laddie, meanwhile, is fast asleep on the floor again, recovering from her sudden change of heart. Her sleeping face, which you'd seen occasionally at the grotto, seems to have softened a bit from the anguished way it looked before. Thanks to the Ivory Maiden and her attendant, you've accomplished your mission. You prepare to take them back to the North Isle. and fight. As you make your way ashore, you see an impeccable line of soldiers in white armor awaiting you. A welcome party, Lack asks, though the atmosphere is far from welcoming. In accordance with national decree, we have come to apprehend the rebellious maiden, the soldiers say, pointing countless blades at you. According to the soldiers, allowing the masked soldier to escape in the forest was a huge infraction of national decree. Lanka hangs her head. Apparently, national decrees are matters of utmost importance to maidens. A soldier, who appears to be the squadron's captain, claps Lanka in restraints. The maiden must be educated, the captain says. Dispose of the others, including the attendant. Don't hold back.
After defeating the soldiers, you spot neither hide nor hair of Lanka. According to Krim, the maiden will likely be taken to the foundation, a school beneath the palace, to be educated. You begin walking toward the palace in hopes of saving the maiden, dragging along the faint attendant. Lanka, she murmurs, oh, Lanka. The man gazes out over the pristine city. Not the easiest place to explore with some snacks in hand. Too clean, he muses. The palace gate that leads to the foundation is blocked by a burly soldier. It doesn't... You place your hand on your weapon, but before you can strike, Krim beckons you over to a different route. According to her, 
there's a hidden passage leading from the maiden shrine to the foundation. Beneath the edge of the shrine is an old door. Could this be the entrance to the hidden passage? You push open the door and descend the stairs dug into the very earth. The dimly lit passage seems to go on for miles. This place gives me the creeps, says Lack with a shudder. There are no ghosts here, so don't worry, Krim replies encouragingly. Though I can't say the same of enemy soldiers, you warn them. Then continue quickly on your way. Beneath the Alabaster Palace lies the foundation. Within the sunless corridors echo the sounds of writing, day in and day out. Fight him off. It appears a diary of sorts has been left on the desk. Within its pages, you read orderly lines of text that say the following.
Nothing further is written. You replace the diary atop the desk. You see Lanka peeking out from behind the door. But something's not right about her. That's not Lanka, Krim whispers, her whole body trembling. The mysterious girl then dashes off somewhere. You hear a soldier's voice from the other side of the door. You decide not to press your luck and leave the area.
An empty basket lies at your feet. What could this possibly be for? The maiden is property of the city, the girl recites repeatedly. The maiden's actions are managed by national decree, the girl writes. Fight him off! The maiden's relic is more important than life itself, the girl transcribes. Magnificent.
fight him off. Magnificent. The maiden shall not ask for anything, the girl reads aloud. It is an honor to be chosen as a maiden, the girl whispers to herself.
At the end of the corridor, you find an open space that looks to be a small room. When you peer inside, Not like anyone comes through here anyway, the guard grumbles as he half-heartedly surveys the area. I doubt he'd notice an intruder until they slapped him in the face, you say in astonishment. You make it through the room without the guard noticing. Laddie's expression reads of relief. As soon as you leave the room, you hear the soldier say, time for lunch. He then promptly leaves the area. Two soldiers survey the area. Lanka should go fur. Krim begins, then gasps and covers her mouth. I'll go first, you say in the stead of a speechless somebody, then take the vanguard. Thinking that you should be fine after coming this far, you let your guard down. When you do, you overhear the guard speaking. Break time, they announce before heading off somewhere. Fight him off. Magnificent.
A single corridor extends in front of you. Either side is lined with countless baskets. While most are empty, there are a few in which you see a humanoid shadow. As you bring your face closer, the shadow does as well, then blinks its eyes. Whatever is within the basket is undoubtedly alive. Chills run down your spine, and you step away from the basket. As you reach the bottom of the stairs, you see a group of soldiers. You quickly conceal yourselves in the shadows to take stock of the situation. The surveillance is even tighter than before so you'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. That guy is always slacking off. The guard grabs you flee quick as your legs can take you. Somehow, you manage to shake off the soldiers. You'll have to watch their movements extra carefully so you don't get caught.
I guess it's time to get to work, the soldier remarks lazily, though he sends a sharp glare your way. Kids must be punished, the soldier says with a fearless laugh, then closes in on you. <laughs> 